Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kill the Bad Guy, developed and published by x -Ki. Now, in Kill the Bad Guy, you take on the role of a mysterious agent working for an equally mysterious agency, whose only goal in life is to kill people who they deem as the bad guys. That is to say, people who are not arrested due to a lack of evidence, but that the agency claims are rapists, murderers, war criminals, and people who do backstroke in really busy pools. I'm not even kidding on that last one. Now, <clears throat> we're going to take a quick trip to the settings menu while we're here. It's a pretty bore, bare bones offering, but I do like the fact they have included Twitch streaming here, something I don't personally use, but that a lot of people do. You'll notice no graphics options, that's because they are all handed in the launcher as the game starts. Only one option is present for graphics quality, and of course one option for your resolution. Again, bare bones offering. However, this is a game with bare bones graphics, so that's not such a problem. Now, you're going to be taking on the role of this agent in a top-down view. Your goal is to simply look around the environment and kill the bad guy using the tools available to you. Should the media ever find out about this game, I'm sure they're going to love to describe it as a murder simulator. However, ultimately, Kill the Bad Guy is really a puzzle game. You examine the environment, you find the tools, and you figure out the intended method of death for your target that the developers have placed there. If you were hoping for a game that would allow you to come up with creative ways of killing the bad guy, you're kind of out of luck. Thus far, I'm a few hours into the game, and uh, it's been fairly linear. The, the methods you use to kill them are pretty obvious, you just have to work it out. So, we're going to go have a look at some of the game here. We're going to play and we are on the second. Now there's a grand total of 60 levels, so they're not skimping on that, but each one's only a few minutes long in general. I've not been doing spectacularly well, but we will see. So, we are going to kill a guy named Kel, Kiel, who's in Burma. Primary objective, kill the bad guy. Secondary objective, my wife dislikes, sorry, dislike, spelling error there, the smell of roasted bad guy in the morning. So, his identity. He is General Keel. He has led his Burmese troops for the last 20 years. To earn the first start on his uniform, he did not hesitate to send about 100 men to their deaths. To earn a second star, he didn't think twice about murdering a load of civilians. He doesn't deserve his name to have... I, uh, excuse me? He doesn't deserve to have his name printed in his country's history textbooks. It should be on his obituary instead. So, there's a basic setup. You have to go kill the guy. If you wish to delve deeper into this and come up with theories, there is the idea that you yourself are actually a bad guy. After all, you're killing these people at the behest of the agency who make all these claims. They tell you he's a murderer. However, the person in question was never arrested, presumably due to a lack of evidence or because he was never caught. So there's the question of, are you really killing bad guys or are you just killing people at the behest of a mysterious agency who you know nothing about? Anyway, enough with the philosophy, let's get on with this. So, we are going to immediately pause the game, so we can have a look around. Here is our intended target. Now, things like this, the car here, I can't touch them while it's paused, but the car here can be sabotaged, the ramps can be moved. Basically, any object that's coloured darker than the surroundings can be manipulated in one way or another. So... Based on the secondary objective hint, I'm guessing we're going to have to set fire to him somehow. And I am going to make the assumption that it's going to involve this here. Ah. Okay, I think I can see what they're aiming for on this. Now, you have what's called days. So you have a couple of days to kill your target. You can use the first day if you want, merely to watch his route, which we're going to do here as a new demonstration and if you wish to sabotage things and get them set up. So we're going to sabotage this. As you can see, you have to slide things along in this game. In fact, the interface, the graphical style, everything about this game makes me think it was actually designed for a tablet at some point. But I could just be imagining that. We're going to sabotage this car because I think I have the solution to this already. Mm, yeah, he's going to walk through that. We're going to use this car to set fire to that oil and burn him to death. We're not going to do it right now, but... Because uh, we're just going to wait the date. So we're going to set up a ramp about here, I think. So it will jump over the building. We're going to speed this up a bit. Now, actually, before I speed it up, you do get bonus points for finding the man's password... Uh, passport, excuse me, 
hidden around the environment somewhere. I'm not immediately seeing it, but it might be hidden underneath one of these cars or something. So we're going to fire that car off just to be sure. Well, it wasn't under there. I'm going to move you. And it wasn't under there. Okay, so he's going to wander off the side. We're going to go into day two. You get bonus points if you kill him on day one. But here he comes. Our car is all set up and ready. I think we'll just speed him along a bit. To about... There. Zoom out a little. And about now. There we go. Ooh, and he is dead. Oh, I miss his flying tooth. You get bonus points again if you capture his flying tooth. <coughs> Ooh, lovely. Poor bastard. You killed Kyle. Kiel. Kyle. Whatever his name is. I killed him. It's all that matters. So, 200 points for killing the bad guy and nothing for secondary objective. Ah, that's because I screwed up. Dislikes the smell of burning bad guy. I had to find a different way of killing him. So that was my fault. Spilled blood. Zero. Hmm. But anyway, we're going to jump over the next. Pride and idleness. The bad guys want to blend in with the crowd. That means they'll adopt the same behavior as the rest of us. Use the people's conditioned reflexes and put down repulsive items to, desert, to divert them from their daily route. Primary objective, kill the bad guy known as Jack in London. Being fast can sometimes have its benefits. Jack has already killed five prostitutes in a poor district of London and ripped out their internal organs. So in other words, we're chasing Jack the Ripper here. <coughs> okay, fair enough. He's a dick. We can get that. So, again, we're going to pause it and see what we've got. Now, you're not allowed to kill them in view of civilians or cameras, although sometimes the rules surrounding when a civilian notices anything is a little tricky. Now, I'm guessing we're going to have to use this dead dog in all of its horribleness to divert him down this path so we can kill him here somewhere. We have a rope and we have some heavy things. So, we're going to put that there. And we are going to combine the rope with that heavy ass crate. And we're going to move the heavy ass crate to here. Oh, we alerted him to the fact that we put something there. He spotted it and he's done a runner. Okay, so we'll replay the level. So, I think what we're going to do then is we're going to use the time just to set it up. Unless I can be very, very quick. Ah, no, I didn't want to put it up there. That's... Oh, his passport was in there. Well, what do you know? We'll just use that time then. That was my fault. Sometimes the interface can be a little picky. I have noticed that. Uh, so we're going to do that. And we're going to attach that up there. Alright, we'll wait for the second day. That's not a problem. The theory will obviously work though, because we've diverted him down that path. <coughs> now, one thing I have noticed about the game is timing on things can be really tricky to these weird sliders. The cars are especially bad because you've got to hold them down. And uh, trying to judge how fast it's going to go is a real nightmare. So we're just going to go... Slip. There we go. And we even got his tooth. Do you look at that? You killed Jack. Ooh. Uh, yeah, the cars in particular are a bit of a problem. You hold down the button. The longer you hold it down for, the faster the car will go. Uh, but trying to judge exactly how fast it's going to go is a problem. I had uh, one mission, I was trying to kill a guy by jumping a car over something and squashing him. Simple enough. I spent numerous attempts trying to get it just right. I'd hold it down and the car wouldn't go fast enough and it wouldn't even make it up the ramp. The next time I'd hold it down for what felt like just a tiny bit longer and it would suddenly go flying over his head. So that can be a little annoying. The interface really does feel like it was designed for a tablet or a phone. Uh, lovely. So we're going to play it one more quick mission. Kill the bad guy. I'm having a barbecue on Saturday. Could you bring me a nice leg of lamb? Interesting. So, this guy is called Dr. Frank. He's a crazy doctor, and he's already tried to transplant one person's limbs onto someone else without their consent. On the request of a rich customer looking for a pet, he is said to have transplanted Gisele Bouchiden's legs into Pamela Anderson's body with Paris Hilton's heads as a, 
as the cherry on top. Can you imagine how horrible that turned out? I can, frankly, I can. Uh, I like the idea here of giving you a description of the bad guy. What I don't like is it doesn't really interact with the gameplay in any way. So, you know, it'd be nice if there was a way of kind of killing these guys in a manner that was relevant to the crimes that they committed. A sort of ironic death, if you will. Uh, but after a while, these descriptions kind of blend together, especially since all the bad guys look exactly the same. I just tend to skip past this and kill them. Uh, maybe I'm missing out on something good there, but it doesn't look like it, so... Pause. We have what looks like an oil spill here. We have some lighter fluid there, a couple of cars. A barrier with which we can probably divert him. Lovely. Okay, so... Oh, right, okay, if I just place it there immediately, it sets fire to it. Okay, well, that was a little irritating. I really wish the levels would start on pause as well, because that's the first thing you always do, is you pause it just so you can have a look around. So I think we're just going to kill him the easy way on this. Except, of course, that doesn't work. What does this do? I should have guessed he just crossed straight over the road. Whatever it is, it takes a very, very, very long time. Sabotage successful. What does it do? Nice! Okay. We've got to figure out a way to use that. So, he's going to have to come through this alley if we, if we want to hit him with that. So, how do we divert him across here? Hopefully we can use that barrier and something else down there and he might just go that way. But uh, I'm not entirely confident on that. Let's restart that and see what we can do. Faster, faster, faster. Come on. I bet he's just going to walk around that though. Yes. Ah, uh, damn it. That might freak him out a little bit. No, not biting. Fine. <clears throat> Let's just go with the simple method of killing for now. I might come back later and do that one. Simple, simple pleasures. There is something really satisfying about killing the bad guys in a simple way. Like that. Uh, but it does get kind of boring after a while, you know, the levels are a couple minutes long. There's not as much variety in the methods of killing them as I like. And as I said at the start of this video, I would like more freedom to kill them in my own ways rather than just figuring out what the developer intended for me to do. Um, so thus far, it's an okay game. I'm not massively impressed by it. You know, it does the trick. A dog needs to be loyal until the end of his master. So, what's this dick done? Toxic gases, poisons, and biological warfare, including number of chemical attacks in China, Korea, and Japan. His most heinous crime was to import French Roquet Blue Cheese into the States on the sly. That bastard! Okay, we gotta kill him for that. Okay, so we have a dead dog. That's nice. We have what looks like a dump truck. Let's see if we can zoom in there. Yep full of garbage and another one. Oh look at his passport see if we can divert him down that way and hopefully divert him along that way too and then we're gonna find that dog again and Hopefully place him there to stop him going that way. I'm hoping he's going to come up this way and we can grab him with his dump truck. I'm not sure if that will even kill him or if it's just going to be a little bit horrible. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on. Play ball. Where are you going to go? Are you going to go straight off? No? Oh, shit. That took longer than I thought. No! Okay. 
Note to self, it takes a few seconds. Duh. Okay, so we're going to do that again. So one, two, three. About three and a half seconds it's taking there. Unless my counting is horribly, horribly off. We're going to replace the dog there just in case. <coughs> we're going to speed up time again. Till about there. What? Oh my god, I'm... I got me. Sometimes the timing required on some of these things feels just really awkward. Or maybe I just suck at this game. That's that's a distinct possibility. It's one I'm definitely not going to ignore. <coughs> okay, so we need to wait a bit later this time. We're going to fast forward it and we'll replace the dog there. I'm not sure if this is actually helping having a dead dog there, but we'll we'll do it anyway. Better safe than sorry. <coughs> And about there. Can't believe that actually killed him. What was in those bags? It must have been heavy, whatever it was. Uh, I'm actually wondering if I could have put the dead dog in there. I think I could have. We're going to replay that. I'm, I'm going to make this even more horrible. This is going to be bad. So, dead dog. That there. His passport was up here somewhere. <coughs> and then we're going to move the dead doggy. Can we put him in there? No. We're going to put him there then and see if that somehow manages the secondary objective. I'm probably going to royally screw up the timing on this again. Wait, no, because then he's just going to... We don't need that. Damn, I just thought that was going to stop him in his track, so that would have been stupid. So we're just going to really kill him again. Pointlessly, because we've already killed him before. That was my stupid mistake. I thought I could put the dog in the dump truck and kind of drop it on him. But no, clearly not. So sometimes the secondary objectives can be a bit tricky to figure out. Uh, anyway, there we go. Uh, I'm going to finish off the game right there. Except, hang on, I just have to read this one. So this guy is a Liverpool FC supporter and a hooligan. A uh, member of a small group of right-wing extremists who loves two things in life, soccer and trashing things. If his team loses, he trashes the place. If he wins, he trashes the place. And if it's a draw, he trashes the place. See, this is what I'm saying. If you get down to it and actually read each one, these people aren't necessarily bad guys. So, okay, he trashes places. That's not cool. You shouldn't do that. You're obviously a dick. But being a dick by trashing places does not equal me slicing your head off with a saw, dropping a tree on you, crushing you with a piano, driving a car into you, setting fire to you, electrocuting you, or spearing you through the chest with a very large, sharp object. So uh, when you start reading into it here, there is a nice little background story going on about whether you are really the bad guy or whether you are killing genuine bad guys. I'm inclined to believe that you are in fact the bad guy and are a complete asshole. Anyway, I'm going to end the recording there. I hope you've enjoyed this very brief and very poorly executed look at Kill the Bad Guy. My final thoughts are that it's amusing. There's some, to, some fun to be had out of it, but there's not a lot. Thus far, each level kind of plays largely the same. You just scan around and quickly find what you need to kill him, set up, and bam. Uh, the first half hour to an hour are really enjoyable. After that, I'm finding it starts to go downhill quickly. Unless the game can do something to really mix things up or offer me more freedom as I delve into its 60 levels, then I can't see me wanting to play it for longer than it really takes me to do the review. Obviously, for review purposes, you will find that on the website www.wolfsgamingblog.com uh, Obviously for review purposes I will complete all 60 levels. Uh, maybe my opinion will change by the time the full review comes out. I hope it does. But uh, at the moment it just feels like a game that would fit more on mobiles or tablets. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later.